<sighs> What's going on, people? I know I said that I was done with the Anita Sarkeesian video. I did it all objectively, and for the most part, I'm still upset. I'm not upset because she's a woman. I'm not upset because of anything that happened. I'm upset at the lost and wasted potential of someone who sits here and says that they're supposed to go out, be going after Hollywood, but can't stop attacking men and women in the gaming industry, which is exactly what this is. It's a woman that just basically wants to go after the game gamers and developers alike. It really, truly upsets me on a number of levels. The reason being, I've never seen so much fear, ignorance, bigotry, and smear. In anything that I saw in Japan, going to the Philippines or anything, there's that sense of community. And the gaming industry that I grew up with, it was a lot different than what we're seeing now. And I can't sit here and say that's all the fault of the Call of Duty crowd. Because the Call of Duty crowd really has nothing to do with this. Neither does anybody that's in the RPG crowd or anything. I'm talking about Anita because the fact of the matter is she lied about who she was. She misrepresented herself. She did this willingly for money. I've shown that, I've substantiated that, Bad Cop substantiated that, Jordan Owen has substantiated that. Everybody who's anybody, Big Sur, Pat Masher, everybody has found Anita to be lacking on a number of issues over the past two years. She's made a series that has done nothing for the gaming industry and has not moved us forward at all. Monday Matt sat here and said he was done and now I really understand why he's done because the same issues come up again and again and again in the gaming industry because of idiots and that's exactly what I can call these supporters idiots. They sit here and they try to say, well, she didn't say this, she didn't say that, and they can present no evidence of what the hell she's doing or talking about. It's, it's just mind-boggling. Now, I try to sit here and talk about gangs and everything else. I'm not really trying to be, you know the most opinionated person I just talk about what interests me and sometimes I get influenced to talk about Activision based on an article that I read online I did that at the spur of the moment fixed up everything and I was done in a day to talk about Activision from beginning to end and do something so that people could see how Activision is basically digging their own grave especially by going to Warner Brothers which helped them to you know be upended in the music gaming industry I'm like how the hell do you make that kind of decision and expect yourself to be doing well I mean I have to get into Square Enix pretty soon because Square Enix did a lot of shit underwater that was just questionable and nobody wants to do any kind of journalism into that we instead have to sit here and talk about sexism for the last three fucking years cat bailey i mean go to internet aristocrats channel look at the hug box chronicles and tell me cat bailey makes some goddamn sense hell anita doesn't make no goddamn sense the University of Glasgow just recently did a full study on 11,000 individuals, kids, men and women, to sit here and say, well, did games sit here and do anything 
to change their behavior. The violence argument and the sexism argument. I can't find it. I can't find anything that supports that evidence. I looked through the report. I can do the, the report on another channel of mine. So that way people can sit here and see it. I'd rather be doing that report than sitting here and talking about sexism yet again. But I have to sit here and talk about Anita Sarkeesian. I have to sit here and I have to talk about all of the people in this social justice movement who have nothing to sit here and show that they have done any work on this subject or this topic. It is fucking ridiculous. Ian Miles Chung. Let's get into him really quickly. He got banned from Reddit for gaming the system. He presented himself. He presented articles from himself. He got paid on those articles. And then he was running other articles. Which from the looks of it. He was getting paid on those too. Which was basically against the rules. And he got banned from Reddit. He sits here and he cries all day on Twitter. Complains about bullshit. And one of the biggest things that I've seen him. That was so fucking disingenuous. And so dishonest. That really pissed me off about him. Is that he's got some shit to say about black people. That he can't sit here and defend. Well fuck you too Ian. To John Walker. Now me and... I'll be honest, me and Jordan Owen are different ideologically, politically speaking. He's libertarian, I'm socialist. I can get into arguments with him, but at the very least, Jordan Owen has more respect for, for my opinion. And the fact of the matter is, when I sat here and I explained why I believe in things the way I do, he hasn't said anything negative to it. Now... I get, in, I get annoyed by some of the things that he says politically um, in terms of Marxism is feminism, which I'll get into an argument on a different channel. That argument, I don't want to sit here and put onto this channel because it's a gaming argument. This is a gaming channel. I want to sit here and I want to focus on video games from now on, and I'll get into that later on. But right now, we're talking about John Walker. The Twitter fight that John Walker did to, sh to try to paint Jordan Owen as an MRA or to paint Jordan Owen as a Sarkeesian hater when he has sat here and had criticisms against Anita. This guy is not anything more than a propagandist and an asshole. So, fuck you too, John Walker. Fuck you for the fact that you can't, you are so much of a coward that you cannot sit here and you can't even allow this guy to record stuff unless you try to control everything. Control the message, right? And then when you can't control it, you sit here and you throw a hissy fit. What kind of journalist does that? Nine basic elements of journalism. You should be honest with the public and quite frankly you sit here and you mistreat Jordan Owen and his libertarian views now I don't agree with libertarian libertarianism but at least I study libertarianism and understand that and don't conflate it with MRAs now my argument would be that MRAs are a subset of libertarianism and I don't agree with MRAs I kind of yeah I agree more with Jordan Owen that they are a separate set of a reactionary movement against feminists but that's another story for another time I'm just saying that to show that I try to be honest about the movements that I understand what I would criticize Jordan Owen on is the fact that he thinks that all women are from the Marxist feminist or the subset there are feminists that argue against Anita Sarkeesian and others. And not only do they argue against them, but the fact is 
they would be somebody that he might, you know, agree with politically, even though they're not libertarian feminists. That'd be someone such as the intersectional feminist or, you know, academic feminists who, you know, try to study class, race, gender, and others. That's something that I put out there and expand upon. Now, I don't want to sit here and get too political on this. It's just that was my big fuck you to John Walker because the fact of the matter is, I haven't seen anything that came out of this social justice movement to better the gaming industry. It was to better the people in that movement. Jim Sterling, he sits here and uses that to make money and get garner a huge audience and then changes his mind and changes his opinion because of the quote unquote criticisms, but he still keeps the same fucking social justice opinion as anybody else. Especially Anita Sarkeesian. He hasn't said anything to criticize her, but just ignores her when it's convenient. When it's shown that she can't, she's not a gamer. When it's shown that she has no idea what the fuck she's talking about in terms of gender issues and gender based, you know, identifiers or whatever. You make a video around her, but you don't want to sit here and call her name out. But you want to support her in the creepy call of female protagonists. You want to support her in regards to vertigo. You want to support her in a Bechdel test that sits here and says we ignore female protagonists that we can pick and choose in games such as Saints Row, Mass Effect, Skyrim, or anything else. That's what really pisses me off about this social justice movement. We ignore everything that doesn't fit our agenda. That's what Anita is a symptom of. Movie Bob, I got into in regards to the case against Anita. He wants to care about fictional female characters, but he doesn't want to sit here and regard other human beings on his comments board. Me included. That's what pissed me off. When I sat here and I had to watch that Game Theorist episode, it just absolutely mind boggled me. What the fuck did I ever do to you? All I did was sit here and express an opinion. And I didn't even really express the opinion until I understood that Bob was being dishonest. When Bob started being dishonest, I started commenting on his boards. And... It took me a while to do that because honestly, when Bob started, I may not have, you know, I watched him occasionally. I watched his backlog. I actually liked what he had to say. And I think I started around 20 and I watched everything that he had done before that. And then he was being dishonest when he talked about Samus and defended that game when the entire gaming industry hated it not only did they hate it but the fact remained that he supported Anita Sarkeesian that just launched everybody and pissed off a lot of people and he did that all that for money how's that money doing for you especially on a blog where you don't a lot of people sit here and still criticize you about your contradictions and you haven't sat here and squared away those contradictions that's what really pisses me off about this entire thing these people get into these positions of power and they use all this influence but they don't want to sit here and progress anything and yet they want to call themselves progressives it's fucking contradictory It's sad, too. You mean to tell me all these people, Jonathan McIntosh, Anita Sarkeesian, Ian Miles Chung, John Walker, Movie Bob, or Bob Chipman, whatever you want to call him, Jim Sterling, Patricia Hernandez, all these people have so little influence in their own lives that they have to sit here and try to control other people? What are you? 
what is this? Is this L.A. Noir? Seriously? You want to be that much of a fucking hypocrite? Just like the man, male protagonist in L.A. Noir. It's just amazing to me. That all of this fear, ignorance, bigotry, and smear. The fibs. If you can't figure out the, the big words there. The fibs. All of this stuff comes out. All this stuff about Stephanie Guthrie throwing down a cyber mob on men that she doesn't like. Anita's use of 4chan and that quote unquote misogynistic crowd to sit here and make herself money. Jonathan McIntosh sitting here and using the same goddamn Edward versus Buffy tape three years later because he's too fucking lazy to make another fucking video. You mean to tell me that all these people who are so self-centered, narcissistic, and selfish, this is the future of gaming? I refuse to believe that. I'd rather just ignore these people and do my own thing on this channel. So, honestly, I'm not going to sit here and make that objectification video. After all the ranting and raving, I'm just not going to do that because I did try to make it, but Black Prion beat me to it and he did a hell of a job. He did a hell of a job bringing up the rape culture aspect which I hadn't even thought of and to, to be honest it wasn't somewhere I was planning to go but going there seeing games that the feminist movement have just absolutely ignored that's more embarrassing than anything that I could do I wanted to make a video about the moral guardians that one's still in play Maybe I'll make one in regards to Anita Sarkeesian, um, the psychologist who tried to go against the gaming industry, Jack Thompson, and Joe Lieberman, and all this other stuff. That may be interesting. I don't know. But right now, I'm really not interested in this movement. And I'm probably just going to sit here and lay low for a bit think on myself think about myself for a little bit and finish up some stuff that I've been needing to do I just find it so sad so disappointing that all this stuff has been happening for the last two fucking years I don't know anything else to say about this took me a while to sit here and record it and re-record it and I'm just done with these issues this whole sexism topic not only the sexism topic but the violence and gaming topic it's not needed this whole thing was not needed play the goddamn game play the games you like Stop looking for a political message in every fucking thing out there. It's too tiring. If you want female characters, look at the games that are coming out. And if most of the games are from Japan, go and learn a little bit more about that fucking culture. I shouldn't have to tell you about it. I shouldn't have to tell you about Shigeru Miyamoto having a wife in meter. I shouldn't have to tell you that the creator of the Bubble Bobble franchise was trying in the 80s and 90s to find and find ways to bring women into the arcades. And if you don't know about the arcades, maybe I can make a rant about that. I can tell you about the differences of arcades in Japan versus arcades here. I can tell you about some gender neutral games. You know, things that bring people together. Anita Sarkeesian, this social justice media, they can't teach you a goddamn thing. 
they'll never be able to teach you anything but hatred. And for me, as a gamer, I want to keep away from that shit. I don't need to level up on that shit. I keep away from Call of Duty. And yeah, there's some misogyny and violence and people trash talk and everything else. But I've just never been a big fan of Call of Duty. I play TF2, as I said before. I'm just, I just got to be honest about the game. It just never appealed to me. But... That's always been my way. If I don't like something, I'm not going to sit here and I'm going to learn about it. And then I got to move on. But to hear so much negativity coming from that group and that crowd. I don't want to be a part of that anymore. If anybody else wants to be, go right ahead. But it's too tiring. I got some other research projects that I got to do and hopefully I can do them soon. So take care. See you next time.